Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and finally welcome back to Mordoroi Bay here on Farming Simulator 17. So we haven't done this for a while because I didn't want it to get too burnt out. But um, yeah, we're back here now for an episode two. So it is now the summer as you can see up in the top right corner, which means it is now silage season. So we've got quite a lot of silage to make. I'm not going to do it all in one video of course because that would be very boring. But uh, first of all, we need to collect our eggs once again. We do this quite a lot. It happens every day with the uh, season mod stuff. Let's go ahead and open this door here. And uh, we'll collect all our eggs. We're not going to sell them just yet, but we'll just stack them up sort of thing to get rid of that annoying little notification that was in the top right. Yo, we've got one. We'll run over to this one here. Open up. Open up. Thank you very much. There we go. Got our eggs here. So yeah, welcome back. Hope you guys are well. Like I said, it's been a while since we've been on here because I didn't want to rinse you guys out of it enough because now, in case you didn't know, uh, Dylan Alcorn is now in control of this. Um, he gave me the permission to release it and stuff. However, we come to the agreement that some of the textures, like this wall, for example, and also the main roads down on the coast, they're a bit FS15, so, um, or we may even 13, who knows, but he's going to be retexturing them and then it's going to be ready for release. So now, it is now up to Dylan Alcorn. So um, don't ask when it's going to be released. He will be sending me the version just before it goes uh, live so you guys see all the new textures and stuff. So hopefully it will look very pretty around here um, with the new textures and stuff. But today, like I said, we're doing some um, some mowing. Now, this is a small family-run farm if you guys have missed the first few episodes. So all the equipment and stuff we're going to be using is reasonably small. So some of you are going to get annoyed at what we're using today. But we're going to use the Deutzwar. Now, the reason I'm going to use this is because a lot of people want me to get rid of it. So I just want to go ahead and use it as much as I can before we go ahead and sell it. So we're going to be sending it real, real soon. Don't worry. But I just want to use it a couple more times because I personally like it. Um, so yeah, that's basically that reason for that. Let's go ahead and turn her on. Make sure she's in forward, which she is. Um, I'm actually going to take off the front loader, actually, come to think of it. So we'll get this lower down. I'll just put it here for now. We're not going to be using this uh, seed shed for a while anyway, for at least another season. Why won't it move? Is that going to work? No, it won't let me do that. Let me just go to the third person real quick. Oh, that might be why. The uh, forks are slightly lifted up there. All right, now you can let me release it. There we go. Get into reverse. So we'll leave that there temporarily. Like I said, it's a small family-run farm, so we ain't got to worry about health and safety because we're probably the only people that's going to be in here. Um, so this is the bit that I said you guys are not going to like, the size of our mower. Now, we are, like I said, starting from the bottom and working our way up to the top. This is my realistic-ish series, so um, that's why we've done that. So we're going to start off with small equipment and make our way up. We'll quickly reverse into here. Now, one of the first things we're going to be updating was meant to be the John Deere, but a lot of you guys said you like me using the John Deere. So we're going to be keeping that, and instead we're going to be selling this drop nose Deutzvar. Don't know what we're going to replace it with just yet. I haven't decided. If you guys have any ideas, do let me know in the comment section below. I'm not going to get another John Deere, because I can guarantee there's going to be a lot of people say John Deere. We've already got one John Deere. I don't want more than one John Deere. Um, we'll try to keep it varied. So we've, our big tractor so far is the Case Puma. So here is the mower, by the way. This is the Bio Belt. Uh, that's all I really know about it, to be fair. <laughs> it's reasonably new, but it is quite small. So let's go ahead and uh, put our big lot on as we head down. We need to go to the main road just to come back up this way. And it will make sense in a minute because it's quite a maze, this bit, to get into the field. Let me sure we don't run over our chickens. Let's go over the middle of them. We should be fine. I don't think we killed any. No good. So yeah, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. So um, the schedule is now in full swing. You guys can see the schedule. Ooh. I think we need a front wait. So you guys can see the schedule on the uh, banner. It should be updated by the time this video goes out. I must remember to do it after this video. So that is the schedule. Um, it may vary some days. Like if I've got nothing to do on Mallory Bay, we may replace it with West Coast and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so it started yesterday with the Wing at Wednesday. I thought it would be a good starting point. So from now on, if you do want to know what videos are when, you should just look at the schedule and it should be there. However, I've still not guaranteed everyday uploads because I do work in real life, as most of you guys know. So that comes first, and then hopefully I have time to record videos and stuff. So these are the roads, by the way, guys. These are the roads that Dylan wants to reskin. You can see them here. They they look good. They look quite Irish, but they are pretty low quality texture. So um, he is going to be redoing them. The petrol station was low quality, but I already gone ahead and replaced that. Um, but I couldn't do the. I did try to do the roads, but um, it didn't come out very well. So I just put them back to the original ones. All right. So we need to go into here now. And this is how we get to our grass field. There is another way in, but that's a little bit tight. This will probably get rid of no issues, but um, this is actually the quickest way today. So head up this road here. Need to put a little bit of grass in this road, I think. Might just message Dylan about that, because I forgot to do it. All right, through here. This turning comes from nowhere, so I need to make sure I actually get it. Um, here it is. There we go. Told you it comes from nowhere. So this is a very, very small mower, as I said. So there is going to be probably a time lapse today. Um, let's go ahead and get it booted up first of all here. See the blades moving at the back there? 
I do like this mower. It is a bit small for this map, probably, but like I said, it's a small family run farm, so we're starting off with the small equipment and working our way up. Let's get it lower down. Awesome. And uh, now we are away. So I'm going to do quite a lot of headlands with this because it is a small. This is probably more of a topper than a mower. I am aware of that. But um, we are going to get our grass from it anyway. Uh, there's a bit of grass missing there, actually. I'll plant that back in later on because we can plant grass, luckily. So the work weight on this is actually not that bad. It's not the same as a uh, single one, a single mower, a single butterfly mower even. But it's just behind us instead of off to the side a little bit. So this is d probably a topper. I think you guys are classed as more as a topper. But it's the only thing we've got on the farm so far. And we've only got £3,000 in the bank. So I can't just go out and buy a new mower. Look at those boats down in the cove there enjoying their... Uh, enjoying their... I was trying to see what day it was then. But Seasons Mall doesn't actually tell you anymore. There we go. Enjoying their little... Uh, probably a barbecue or something down on their boat. Speaking of which... Hope everybody from America is okay, especially Texas. I know there is a bad storm on the way, so if you are watching this from Texas, hope you're safe from there. Uh, hope you've uh, got all prepared and stuff. And uh, hopefully I'll keep you company during it. Right, this is quite a bumpy field, actually. This is why I didn't use the John Deere. I was going to originally use the John Deere, but I thought it might have struggled on the hills a little bit. Now, I'm not going to go right up into the corner because the wind roll might struggle with that anyway. So we'll just uh, trim that later on. We get some good speed with this mower though. Like I said, it is only a topper, so we do get some good speed. Let's get the uh, hand throttle on here. Awesome. So yeah, I'm going to carry on doing a couple more headlands here, and uh, we'll do some lengths, I suppose. Okay, so we just finished the third headland right now, and one thing I have noticed is with the seasons mod, because it adjusts the lighting and stuff, the grass is a bit hard to see. So let me know in the comment section below if you would like it if I replaced the mow grass texture with a slightly yellow or lighter green one, just so we can see a little bit better. Um, I'm tempted to do that. So like now it's okay to see, but when the sun's in front of you, it's a bit like now, for example, it's hard to see where we've cut and where we've not cut. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you'd like a slightly different colour grass as well. And I'll get some textures made up for that. Let's quickly get that lower down a bit before we start our uh, pass here. Cool. Actually, I'm just going to keep... Should I go keep running in circles? Yeah, we'll keep running in circles. The reason for that is because we have got a bush hog, not a mower. And um, I think it might be easy to do it this way. And then when we win row it, it should be a little bit better. That's what I'm thinking anyway. So we have got a small windrow as well, but I can't see me keeping that for very long because it annoys me, that little one. We've got the little single one, and it, I just don't, I'm not a fan of it, if I'm honest. Quite realistic for the size of the map, maybe, but I prefer the uh, the dual Pottinger one. I think that's a much better one to be using on a map like the size, maybe. But yeah, once again, let me know in the comment section if you uh, do want me to put a slightly yellowish texture hit for the grass that's been mowed. Alright, let's go to the end here. Right, uh, oh gosh, just pull me Brody knob off. Okay, hopefully that'll stay on now. I think it's broken. I think I might have to get a new one soon. Back in the forwards. Let's crack on with this. Okay, wait, so we just got a tiny, tiny, tiny bit left now, as you can see. We're just finishing up. There's probably like two more passes after this one. Uh, we're going to have to actually do a uh, little uh, reverse turn here because we've got so little left to do now that we can't actually do a U-turn. Let's quickly do that here. So, yeah, one more after this, I reckon, just to get all the bits that we've uh, we've missed. But, yeah, we've now done it this whole field with this little uh, bush hog that we've got here. Now, one thing I am curious for is I've been thinking this whilst uh, I was doing the rest of it. What is the difference between a topper and a mower? Because I have no idea. Obviously, I know the physical differences. One tops, one cuts down by the uh, 
by the root sort of thing. But what is the benefits of why would you top, basically? Because I literally have no idea. So uh, if you could help me out, please let me know. Let's quickly guess. I missed the time, but let's get that lifted up. And uh, we'll write this into reverse just while we get that little tiny bit here. Oh, where was it? Maybe I got it after all. That was just there. Oh, drop it down. Pretty right to forwards. And we're now done. So then we have to go get the uh, get the wind roll. Like I said, we do have a quite a small wind roll here. So it's going to take a reasonable amount of time. Let's quickly get that turned on. We'll get the uh, front window closed up there. I don't think we have a sunroof on this tractor. Although I can't actually look up to have a look. That's so the one bad thing about head tracking. It's a bit hard to look around the cab. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and drive this thing back to the yard right now. Where's the exit? Here it is. And then we'll pick up our little tiny wind roll. And then in the next episode, we'll be actually using the forage harvester. We haven't got a forage harvester per se. We've got the uh, Massey Ferguson uh, trailed forage harvester that we'll use with... Uh, I think you can actually attach a trailer to that. But if not, we'll be uh, we'll have a little follow me course going up sort of thing. Let's quickly indicate here. Uh, nothing's coming. Good. Go, 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 go. So there we go. That's how you mow a field... <laughs> With a tiny little bush hog. So that's what we got so far. I do need to get a proper mower. I am aware of this. But uh, in real life situation, well, I don't know about you guys, but I'd uh, work with what I got, basically. Um, I'll just mess that head tracking up. There we go. So, yeah, so we're taking this back to the yard now. We'll get the, uh, the tiny wind roll hooked up. And uh, that should be it for today's video. Uh, we've got to actually wind roll it now. I actually need you guys' help. Because you're going to see me try and use this wind roll now. And I have no idea how to actually uh, use it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I thought I don't know how to use the single ones. I think you... I don't know. I really don't know. Be a learning curve for both of us. You get to frustratedly watch me, and I get to try and use the thing. So quickly coming back up into the main yard here now. Oh, watch the chickens. Excuse me. Thank you. I think we just killed one. That's absolutely fine. I'll have that for tea tonight. Well, we're keeping the Deutz for now because I'm going to be use, saving the uh, diesel that we have left in the case for the... Uh, the actually, there's the fire harvester right next to us. So that's the fire harvester we're going to be using. And right in front of that is the wind row. So we need to quickly reverse this back into the shed here. Get it lowered down, get it disconnected. Right, there we go. Lower it down. Let's quickly jump out here. We'll get this one disconnected. Start off with the PTO and then disconnect it like that. There we go. Right, let's leave the door open a minute. Hopefully we don't take it off though. No, we're good. Stop. Right. Let's get the uh, the wind row hooked up here. Like so. So I've still not managed to get VR working with this game, which is a bit a bit annoying. I do really want to try it at least once. Right, there we go. Get that hooked up. Put the uh, PTO on there. Jump back into the cab. Get it close up and back down to the same field we go. Is the beacon light still on? Yes, it is. Cool. So this is quite an interesting wind roll. I know most people actually skip this one altogether, but for those of you that don't know, it actually have to. You don't put it together yourself. It gets put together on the uh, yards. So you can see all the different rakes we have on the front there. So they get obviously get put onto the yellow spinning carousel bit, and there. Uh, then we have a wind roll. But uh, unfortunately, this particular vanilla one is uh, manual. Uh, automatic. Sorry. It'd be cool if there was a manual mod where you have to do it manually, but that's something for the future probably. Let's drive down here again. So we're going a little bit too fast for these uh, little roads, but we've done it many, many times. We know when the corners and that are coming up. And we've got good brakes here on the uh, the Dutzwa. There we go. So I don't think that's our field there, though. No, it's not. There's these buy icons here, but it's not a bad field to have, that one. Might look into it at some point. How are we doing for diesel? Pretty much full. About 90% full, I reckon. Might come out of here. And then pretty much do a 180 degree turn. Into this one here. Awesome. Oh, we're in the hedge a little bit there. Pull our wheel self out. These hedges do have collisions, for those of you are wondering. So I can't just take shortcuts and stuff. Uh, I couldn't actually find any good collision hedges like for the Giants editor. So I actually made these myself. I didn't make the bush myself. The bushes are, uh, well, the hedges, sorry, are Auction Davids. But I put a little collision plane in the middle of them. Right, so here we are. Back at the field. Let's go ahead and change camera view real quick. We get the beacon light off here. Um, so unfold it by pressing that. And then look what happens with the little rakes at the front. They go onto this little yellow bit here. Like so. And um, get it up to the proper RPMs here. Like so. And uh, we can start. So last time I did the windrow, the headland, sorry, when I was windrowing, I did the headland last and I got towed off. So today I'm going to do it the opposite way. 
Hopefully I'm doing it right this time. But we're actually a little bit too close to... In fact... Stop! Change my mind. Change my mind. I know I just said we are going to do that, but I'm going to go anti-clockwise. I know a lot of people hate it when I do that, but the windrow is spinning anti-clockwise, which means it's going to put the, the swath into the hedge, which we don't want. So by doing this, it should put it off to our left. So we can actually pick it up a bit easier. There, that's much better. Let's zoom the camera out a little bit here. That's much better. Yeah, so we're going anti-clockwise just so the uh, the swath doesn't get put into the hedge and then it'll be a bit hard to pick up. And then... Actually, I think it might work. It might not work. And then the next headland I might do clockwise. Then we get one big swath. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to use these, like I said earlier. So I'm learning as we go, basically. We are missing quite a bit here, though. It's hard to see where we've mowed because of the colour. So like I said, I might add some yellow mowed grass textures. Not, like, luminous yellow, because that looked ridiculous, but... Just a little a tiny bit yellow. A little bit lighter green, maybe. Not even yellow. Once again, let me know in the comment section if you do want that. Right, so that's the first headland done right now. Let's quickly go ahead and get that lifted up and we're going to spin around. This probably makes no sense to real life farmers out there, but this is just the way my brain is telling me to do it now because I'm trying to get one big swath instead. So it's technically the same as a double one, except we have to do it one at a time, basically. So we want to line up this little uh, catcher thing with the swath that we've already got. So basically, I'm going to follow this line, the swath that we've made, with the uh, little stopper. And then, like that, we should have a huge, not huge, but a reasonably sized uh, windrow to pick up with the forager. Although I can't see a thing. Let me just go ahead and turn... Where's the button? There it is. Hopefully see a little bit better. Now, I know it's broad daylight here, but um, the shadows are sort of hiding the swath because of the colour. There we go. We might, we might have to go over this one more time at the end, just to make it a little bit more narrow, the swath. But as long as we get into a rough pile for now, we should be okay. Fact, I can't see my uh, patients wearing that long with this, so we may actually rent or lease the uh, the Pottinger. I haven't decided just yet, but we'll see how we get on with the headland. And when it gets to the passes, if I've had enough, then we'll just rent the Pottinger. We'll see. We'll see. Right, so we just finished the uh, this, the, the first headland. I think it was the second pass, but first headland. And I've decided we are, in fact, going to rent the Pottinger because I've had enough. Uh, my Unfortunately, my... Lack of farming skills is really starting to show with this uh, little, uh, tiny little windmill we got here. So it's just beyond my knowledge. I'd use these properly and efficiently. So I'm sort of just missing loads of going over myself. So we're going to go ahead and sell this and rent it. So they didn't last very long, but I did give it a go. So uh, I just, hopefully you guys are going to be props or at least trying. <laughs> but yeah, that's well beyond my uh, farming knowledge, I think. Okay. Screw, screw. Get these on. Indicate out of here. So we're not going back to the yard. We're literally just going to the store, which is just around the corner here. And there uh, we'll rent that, I think. We're going to go through the back door here. Because it's right here. No cars coming good. Through here. Awesome. So one thing I haven't decided just yet is whether we're going to use our... Actually, uh, we need to run us into this little area here. So I've not decided if, we need to, if we're going to use our silage clamp or the BJ. I know you guys haven't actually seen the BJ just yet. But you'll see it very, very soon. Do not worry. Let's go ahead and put that there. Cool. Let's jump up and uh, do the paperwork stuff. At the uh, back door. Sales is around the back. Cool. We've got £9,000 for that. Should be enough to at least lease another one. It's a bit of a weird thing to say. I'll keep the door open. I'm going to go around the corner. To the uh, front door, which is the sales. Sales team. Cool, let's park our Deutzvar next to the Deutzvar. Like so. A little bit dirty. Those ones are really clean, those ones are really dirty. Right, there we go. Uh, so we want the... We want the Kuhn. We've got this little... This one's even smaller. Uh, 
We've got a merger. That's way too expensive. Yeah, we're going to go with the good old-fashioned coon for now. It's going to cost us £2,000 a day to lease that. Hopefully, we'll get everything we need done in one day because we are on times one time. And it's only 8 o'clock in the morning. So let's quickly jump into this. Reverse back this way. We need to go back into the, uh, the yard right now. Like so. I get it hooked up so I should get a lot more progress done with this now so yeah I did try the other one but it just wasn't for me um, it's beyond my knowledge I think plus the ones that I usually see around although this is Ireland but the ones I usually see around the UK are uh, like this and Ireland's pretty much the same from what I've seen at least there we go get that hooked up like that and I'll go ahead and finish this film. So thank you very much for joining me in this episode. If you did enjoy it, please tap that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.